the videos you have of people with basically dens underneath their house. I mean, how does that come to be? It boils down to a couple things. It's either they built their house in rattlesnake habitat. My biggest video is going to be the rattlesnake den being removed from under a house in uh, Winthorpe, Texas, just south of Wichita Falls. And uh, it was 60 snakes, but their house was on top of a hip south-facing slope. So all the snakes, they just kind of went under there. And then there was a tarp. Um, there's a tarp that's laid down under a lot of these double wides uh, as part of a moisture barrier, some sort of new regulation. And snakes love them. And those jobs, they're, they're kind of freaky just because you're crawling a little bit and you cut with a knife to peek under with your hook. And, you know, you're seeing how many snakes you can see. You crawl a little bit. And, I mean, there's times you put your hand down and something moves and you're like, okay, let's crawl back. It's, it's a very methodical process, you know, because, you know, of the nature of things. But luckily those snakes are cold and usually they're bunched up together and they're not moving much. Um, so it's, it's, again, it's very methodical. Um, but, but that was just a, a hunting cabin that had been moved into their property. Uh, another thing is gassing. Gassing, what happens is you have, the, you have den sites which have crevices and rodent mittens, and there's tons of air seals and air pockets where these snakes can get away from gasoline fumes. So snakes, you know, basically have one functioning lung, and it's a big irritant to them. So they, I mean, these dens, you know, there's a hole this big that can go 20 feet back and down in whichever way. It's kind of like an ant farm if you turned it on your side. And so there's tons of places for them to escape. But the communal part of that den is can be tarnished. It can be ruined, and they won't use that den again. That has pushed them into residential areas. And we've talked to people who say, hey, we've lived here 20, 30 years, you know, these older folks. And they said, we've never had trouble with snakes until the neighbor let hunters go around gassing. And now we have all these snakes showing up on our porch. And so, I mean, it's basically habitat destruction is what you know or people encroaching on their habitat um and that's why you know so many people because what snakes are looking for is a is an area to get below the frost line of course since they're ectothermic you know i, I think it's about 35 degrees that they can get to before they die